cat imaginary because this will this will ruin it. I mean, oh, game audio. Oh my god, what happened to the game audio? It was working. It does that. I fixed it and then it does that again. This might be loud. I apologize. That looks about right. Thanks. See, I don't know. I, you know what? I plugged in my headphones after I finished audio check. But hey, it's a freebie. It's a always a good one. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Oh, friend, I hope we do find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look. I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Thurston? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep going, kitty. We have to be careful now. These my pills? Wow. Where are they going? Why were they attached to a string? It's more the question. Okay, yeah, let's go. Pills don't move. Ah, show me the way back home. Oh, I guess home is in that direction. No, I shouldn't have touched the pill. Bad for it. Bad. Well. That's why we have that. Red, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as you see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I'm Itwards, your faithful friend. Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. Well, that doesn't sound creepy. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to put my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They only believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blame me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking, sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came for you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. Good lesson, kids. Never trust strangers. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. All right, you seem nice. I'll go with you. But I don't trust you yet. Easy come, easy go. That's fine. Come on now, I have something to show you. This is really what we're doing. Who was pulling the thing on the wire if he was over there, though? Behold, the Itward flying machine. What do you think? I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes. With this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. Sounds great, but what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. That's when time becomes slower. That gives us a chance to enter the ultra-reality. Inside the ultra-reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. 
right now, we're standing at Endless Limits, the second reality. But you're part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. What can uh, you can help by getting water and fire berries, all right? All right, it's better if I do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, here's my amazing handmade bucket of water. I made it myself. It's kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because, they're up because of the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries and the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. But Kamala's. Oh, Kamala's, I see. I hope you they don't come near the flowers. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I must protect your mess. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. So he was pulling it on a string, or he programmed something to? Okay. Invisible to my eyes. Hmm. I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Ah, yes. About that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in like one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries and the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. to play with the machine. Probably best if I start all the way here and then take the pills. Oh. Are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because you're curious? You usually get stuck, yes. And you know this, you're not one of us. That's me every time before I help them to get free of their curiosity. Ah, that's very nice. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Good luck, I have to go now. Bye. Wait a minute. Why does it say I can go this way? Okay. Oh, great. The sign for home is now says help. Oh, there's the fire berries. Problem is, how do I get them? Oh, I can talk to this guy? Get out, get out. You're trespassing on my territory. Huh? How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me, rotten and bloody. I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, no. Not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. Now go around killing creatures. I just returned to the soil. What creatures took from it, I don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Ah! It's cute. But it's also, like, kind of creepy.
Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Ah, oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Friend. Hello, Friend. Can I ask? Why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you a friend? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. No, I, I was actually trying to see if I could talk to it. In reality. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You might not. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Come on now. I'll keep looking. Thank you, sir. Can I put them in the bucket? Hmm. Oh, climb down the dead moose. Yeah, what's up, Sue? Sorry, I don't know how old that method is. I just saw it now. Okay, there it goes. It's fresh. What's the question? If you extinguish the fire berries, are they still fire berries? I know, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, are they just now berries that were once on fire? That's my body. I bet I am. Tasty flesh. Mmm. Uh, I can't seem to talk to them. Maybe I can use its hair to climb down? It did say, like, longish. the bucket onto the hair. Hi, I need help please. Could you let me tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as well. Please help me. Alright, I'll help you. Tie the bucket really tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. The book is now full of water. Ah, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. Home is a place where we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye! Okay. So we're climbing back up the moose. Pull them off with my hands because they're firmly attached. Guess 
Like this has something to do with something, but did you find the fire berries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. Please forget that I can't just, you know. There you go. Sir, it where here's a bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Luciferns? They're not. They're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you see them in the fifth reality. Burn you. Wow, burn me. Well, I haven't gone into the fifth reality yet. Foreshadowing. Don't re recommend it. It's what's reasonable there may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. Sorry, I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much. Ah, friend. It's 2.34. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. I was about to say, if the door closes and Mr. Midnight's not on it, it might be bad. Two thirty-six. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way into the third reality. Are you excited, friend? Maybe I'd be more excited if I understood more about the realities. You'll soon understand the answers aren't easy to recognize. Soon, but why not now? Time proceeds as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happens now, you'll probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say. Through time, you must explore and experience to understand. This means that the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You have woken my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking and to get you home. Thank you, sir. The machine needs some maintenance. I think you do incredible work. Here are the fire berries and the water you gathered before. What was the point of me giving this to him two seconds ago? You need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pump working again. So find all the information you need when you enter the room. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something else, I'll be here. Hmm, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. What do you think I'm doing, Sieg? I'm curious too. Hmm, what's this? out the soles of a shoe and put on the soles of a feet. Or in this case the other way. The sole of your foot goes on the sole of your shoe. Why well, I have no idea. Ha ah, I got to keep something. I like gadgets and things I can take. Go 
this way first. Apparently one of the screens has a mini game. But we just click those screens. I swear I just clicked all of them. Chicken! I got an achievement for it. Unpredictor behavior from the IT network computer database. I found the IT has been shut down. Oh, well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the scene. This looks like my saving screen. So I understand how this works, right? Our brain sees something they can put in. How does this work? Uh, I feel like this is gonna come in. Oh. 
goes to A15 and it's teal. Um, part of that teal breaks off and it's salmon. I want to say red, but I don't trust saying red. So, uh, salmon color. <laughs> Say that one's yellow. What was the other one? Dish uh, white orange. Um, that goes into some doohickey that looks like hot and cold water. Nutrients and fire berries with supercharged nutrients. Oh, AFM. I guess this means fire berries. doesn't need a pencil. Who doesn't need a pencil? You never know when you're going to need a pencil. Yeah, 
See, now I don't know if I should trust him. Sorry to build up some trust here, but I don't know, crazy eye killer clown looking thing. Oh, there's this red flag. Made of darkness and light. Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But neither side could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girl. Inside of their minds, it were the creature of the night. He always came around in dreams of reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Edward was a friend. It were was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of it once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You were both trapped. In a world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing of what you already have. And just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Well, that was interesting. Um, that was a pretty good story. I liked it. Green. Thank <laughs> you. 
Done Super Chemistry Master Friend. my thing. I made it, but I can't seem to pick it up. It feeds into this. Okay, he said wall manuals. There's probably more than one. Uh, okay, it's in another language, but that does not matter to us because we just have to make sure that we put in the right things. Uh, uh, so whoever needs to be facing this way. And I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. I think I managed quite well, too. I did all that you asked me. Very well, friend. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should I do now, sir? Well, I want to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. From all the things I've seen, I just can't imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? The one with horns and killer eyes. You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. Just sitting there, no blinking, no movement. Staring all the time, menacingly. It does sound very scary, sir, but... Show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. It, the stuffed one over here? There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? From why you see it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't 
don't dare touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Watch, I grab it and just try to fight me. I like clicking things. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Chris. Nothing to be afraid of. What? Don't go, Mr. Midnight! It, this is not funny! Why did you scare it word anyway? Like this is gonna come in handy. So five, the letter E, Shank. Number two, and it's got like a little thing like this, and then a dot, and it's this. And there's a four over here. Oh, that's our, our number thing. Earlier. Three dots, and it's rat. Remember, I couldn't read it before, so that looks like it's trying to teach me how to read. Three. And that's try. That one stayed the same. Here's a one. And that's N. Okay, so I got a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. That's what he's afraid of, because I would have been afraid of that, too. Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Oh, what the bunny likes it. I feel like I can keep feeding this rabbit for a little bit. It's like pointing out all the numbers. Oh, I got an achievement for feeding the bunny three times. these numbers.
Maybe I have to feed the gravel. carried on button. Apparently it does not work. I can't just, you know, try to hit it. Yeah, I clearly need a battery. Where do I get a battery from? How do the numbers work together? This time I'll stand on the thing and actually. Oh. Kind of weird, but I'll take it. Hey, nerd, what's up? How are you? Yeah. You know, just slowly sinking into uh, insanity. Give or take. Not on the pills, but I'm experiencing the pills. This is definitely my parents. I'm gonna have like some situation. Are you? You know what I mean? Mommy, daddy, who did this to you? Interesting. Even though I wasn't on the pills, it was like reading my life. It's locked. I mean, I had those numbers. Do I use them? Nerd, what have you been up to? How are you doing? Order with these numbers. I mean, technically it's in the order of what? Three, five, two, one, four. You can try, we'll see how this goes. I'll take it. Why is it dark? body or something. I was prepared for that. Hey, bros. <laughs> oh, a birthday party. Whoa, I thought 
you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. He lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry. I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come, eat cake. All right, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. Let's see, can you do the mystic surprised uh, bingo thing for me? Cake is made of all your favorite ingredients. Oh, that can't be good. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. If someone made me birthday cake, all my favorite ingredients. Right? I'm just thinking here. Right? It would be like burger meat, french fries, walnuts. <laughs> like, would it taste good? Ketchup. Just thinking. Um, maybe it's all in a good realm. I heard this game is weird. It is. It is very strange. But it's very along the lines of the Miss Unfortunate. Or Miss Misfortunate, yeah. Um, we have something very special for you from all the members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born are handmade things. Here you go. We find it educational. Oh, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. What was the point of it? Though? Like, that extra. Oh. Oh, a cat doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perspective, you know. Like the ultra reality. Is this what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is that the ultra reality? What I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Do I want to read it? No. Do I want to know? Yes. Look, what you're seeing is a mixture from different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, these exact coordinates of time and space for having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Finding things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. We have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe. I feel a little dizzy. Aha! That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, exciting everything. Here I go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Friend, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. I have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans away the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, friend. You have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Do I have water? This doesn't have water in it. Okay, 
in this reality, this is kind of weird. Okay. There he is. What are you doing, you bad thing? You're destroying our ship. Edward said you're dirty and I have to clean you with water. Water in there. Can I just take some out? I can't collect water from the pump. The bucket doesn't fit inside. Don't run away. What are you doing? Ventilation squirrel. I won't touch it. I could get hurt. What am I supposed to do? How do I follow it? Hey, sir, I need your help. I can't help you now, friend. I have to concentrate on... Water. Oh, you know what? I know where it's gonna go. go back to it. Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. I'm going down. No, please, don't tell me this is not fair. Not fair! This sounds like an air raid. Oh, oh. I will always take care of you, my dear. Now I'm really starting to trust him. Oh my god, that took us an hour. And the ship, something. I did not read it in enough time. The end. It's a very sad ending. Or tell me another story, please. All right, this is the story of Fran Bo and me. And she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. Hee <laughs> hee, I promise it were. I'll never forget you. Good, now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. The doctor's prescription. So we have another part, and then we have another thing. How do people complete this game in like four hours? I'm just okay. I thought I did rather quick there. It worked. Oh, kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Oh, dear. Yes, we're alive. Hmm, but Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We're just outside town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about this. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, kitty, but I took all the pills already. See, the bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come see me someday. Oh my goodness, this is our street, kitty. Hey, street. 
Yes, it is. Here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. In the fact your window's open, I feel like Aunt Grace is gonna be dead. Just sad. I took the key, friend. I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. Climb through the window. Couldn't find the key. It seems that not... I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, you must climb up and down, up and open the door for me. Ah, all right then. We should. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Ah, uh, never good. Grant, I can't believe it. You're alive. Where were you? Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time. How did you escape? None of your business. I don't trust this guy. None of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have a key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed through. Why are we telling him things, Fran? No! Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing hat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Oh my god. It's like fears right here. Kidnapping! That'd be funny if the door just opened. Um. I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This is so wrong. Yeah, and there's no way she's 13, so she really should be in the back seat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying here for clarity. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. Wait. I found things that I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murder on Hay Street, the bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bow Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. Yep. The investigating police officer Marco Palma said it seemed that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there's no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to bite back. The police interrogated Grace, Diane Hart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest of the family, Fran, uh, though, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Dear 
ladies, let the newspaper know about Fran. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from the home after finding out, finding about her parents' murder. After finding about her parents' murder, yeah. Oh my god, it's like the 40s? So I'm 10. Seventeen. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Sheesh. I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out your medicine was switched. And I don't know if I trust the doctor now. Oh. You were given a new variant of Duotone. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin uh, creates a door between the conscious and the subconscious mind. The problem is if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will open too wide, and that can create great confusion in your brain. Great confusion in my brain. I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's all because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? Don't tell him this. This is why people think others are crazy. Just keep, just keep it to yourself. I can see the ultra reality, sir. And also traps other worlds. Just don't. Don't say it. Ultra reality. That must be effect of the dual time. Nothing more. It's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say. Then I may be able to control it. I mean, you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father hurt you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did? Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness. Then it's true! Oh, please, let's focus. You're not listening to me, sir. You need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurse? Who's Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Raymar. He took my parents, now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in the Thirsta with Polonis, Hun Huntress, and the Great Wizard. I thought reality was so nice. What are you talking about? Please, friend, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward or Polonis, uh, and my kitty is all gone. Lantris, it were please, Fran. Lantris is the doctor of Athirsta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And it were is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Oh my god, stop saying anything, Fran. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins were gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight. I saw my mother and father, too. Twins? What twins? girls who were attached to each other. I just think you're insane, Fred. Just stop. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. The two girls in the asylum who claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. <clears throat> That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible. This makes me tired. 
Thank you, Doctor. The music's so peaceful, too. It doesn't help. Baby Plantras uh, was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Here we are. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? We'll see. Come on, follow me. Look how miserable she looks. Just in case I need a wax on my crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. The question is, why does he have a crowbar? This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. Oh my god, I need to stop reading. What do you mean? By right, sir, I mean that if we find the guilty ones, we'll have justice. Use the law to punish such behavior and prevent others from being Armed, I understand, sir. And with what did you need my help? Find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the beetle worms came already. Who? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you go right. See you right here in a few minutes, alright? Yes, Dr. Dean. Uh, I'll see you soon. Interesting. Didn't the article say I died the next day? Keep it down, Fabio. I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes. You see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. Wow. Tribe's collector. That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. That's quite interesting, shiny leather, hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the Dita worms wanted it back, so we're looking for something else more. Pathetic. Well, I hope you find the leather. Uh, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant mess. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, or we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, I'll open the door. Uh... Pretty simple trade. Away, I can like rip up these seats. Sorry, Doc. Thank you, giant miss our tribe, the 
Pine Zelius will be very happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Oh, for you all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm, I'm all right, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You open the door. Welcome, giant miss, uh, Abio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, away from me. I have the leather. So how do they mate using leather? So now I have no idea what the purpose of opening this was. There's nothing in there. Oh, he found the shovel. Stuck. I had a crowbar on the car just in case, but I can't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar. No need for him, but do the honors of the coffins. This is my body. I don't know what I'm going to do. Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin. Great! Seeing my parents like that. Also, that dead cat isn't my cat. They're lying. And I told you your cat was missing. Maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Home, I'll show you, please. All right, your friend, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. <laughs> Just gonna leave the the grave plot like that. Why is it so close to a path, too? Like the forties. Vanish into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I take it. The light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love. of madness and bites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. House of Madness. Final chapter! Countdowns to Nancy Drew have begun. Oh my god. Okay, when I started this game, I don't know if I said it out loud, but I was like, we're gonna go back to that night. And we're gonna find out, like, we killed them or something, like, I don't know. But we're gonna see it. Oh, it's Aunt Grace. I thought it was Mom. I got really excited. Why did I change the bed?! Hey, darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. So happy to see you. Please give me a hug soon, my darling. Aw, oh, it's gonna be my aunt. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. Oh boy, here we go. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. And a cat killed two adults. Uh, um, that's a little that's a little far reach for me. 
doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my friend. It's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. I need it. And Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to find Mr. Midnight. Little, little. Shining? Friend? Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's okay. But what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or am I just imagining things? But if it's true, how could I make contact with that? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. took all the magic dust away. Oh, hello. Why are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And you're not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm changed. Can you chain unlock it? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You think so? And that means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crash? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, to break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see, the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then why we can see the things we do? What if I help you unlock the cuffs first, then we can talk? Good idea. I just need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Be a lot of reading. Aunt Grace blames himself for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. They don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chain so it happens that I'm the key collector. All right, I'll be back. kind of weird. There's like two versions of myself. I was just curious, but I guess not. so much, friend. He, he, you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, but I forgot. Come on. Uh, 
Lantras told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it'll help you open it. A little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears first, twice, to the left, and once to the right. I rub it only I two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. I've seen these before. Okay, so... So the first step is press it by the ears. Press ears. Uh, first twice to left, so two times left. Uh, one times right. Uh, rub I times two. Say stop whining. I'm not sure if that's gonna come in handy, but we'll all write anyway. Stop whining. Oops. And then press I again. Friend, you must have it after now. No, oh, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad. Bad, bad nurse. Um, he's found the monster. I'm sure he took midnight. Some useless things, but let's start with this box. Press its ears. Oh, that's the ear. Two left, one right. Rub the eye twice. Left ear once. Uh, and then press the eye. I was about to say, do I have to type words? Mabuka Mabuka. Wake up, Mabuka. Wake up, Mother Mabuka. A horned child is playing with the light. The Balaka is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the cog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Mabuka somehow. Oh, this is gonna be puzzle somehow.
this is Alice from school. We like to play together. Like Alice in Wonderland kind of Alice. About a wonderful land she likes to visit sometimes. Oh my god. anything in a while. Uh, so the door's been removed. Somebody down there? Yes, I'm somebody. Have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you, I think that's a uh, Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Maybe we can help you. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. See what I can do. Don't worry. I don't think that's appropriate, Miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't, he never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. See, it would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. I'll see what I can do to get that key then. And who are you, might I ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? Don't leave now. Just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. Darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? I'm in the fifth reality. I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I said enough. All right, I'll, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Inside the little house. Oh, for operator? Um, 
I'm not done, Mother. I can take another bath after this one because I stink. Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk in my skin, they're getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin because I stink. I don't smell anything. What's that smell we're talking about? I stink? Like the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat, I just want the soap. So, are you having trouble with your hygiene? It's terrible problems. Smelly flush. It sounds delicious, I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap. Careful with the hijackers, they love children and the smell of soap. They ate their baby bodies and keep their heads and their beautiful baby faces. Water balloons? There we go. Thunder. Okay, so I recognize that something's apparently back there, I just don't know how to get it, I guess. Traitor, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry, what big eye you are, you must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything, can you see my cat? Your cat, how is it possible that you want a cat? Are you royal, a queen, a princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, the fur is very black. Black as the deepest night. That's him. That's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. 
You are brave and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. These are some weird things. I'm just saying. Don't know how it's all gonna come together. Bottle's perfect, so therefore I will take it. I might need this wire in the future. Okay, so uh, do we do we cut it off the dress? taking this long for me to actually understand how this game works. Probably need it at least for this part. Yeah. That's not key. At least I hope it can help me somehow. of weird things like how do they come together I was doing really good, but now I have a bunch of things that will how they come together. Okay, a bunch of those things will help me get the claw. about to say, am I going to be a dentist and just rip out his teeth? Apparently so. Well, you could have opened your mouth. Instead, I'm just going to rip out your teeth. I mean, that's supposed to be that door. Maybe it's not. I need the clock from here. What is this? I need this clock off of him, but I don't understand how to get the clock yet. 
guess we're going this way. me I really need the key hanging right behind you. Excuse me but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. been tossing things inside of it and so far it's uh let me put a bunch of things in it things I need for the machine. Oh, then I need this. This. Oops. I think I need this. Yeah, I'm putting all this stuff in the cap. What happens to it afterwards? Oh, the bottle needs... Oh, the bottle needs water. Uh, this way. This way. Then... And we'll go this way. This way. Got everything in there now. Except the clock that's around his neck. Do I take a knife to his neck and like try to cut it off? Yeah. Thank you for making my thing. I've made the clock. I should have read the, the list, but you know. Um, what do I do with it now? Use weapon on. will go up. <sighs> Aha! Thank you for 
pretty and smooth. It's very pleasant. She promised not to burn me. It only burned if I was in danger. Be gentle, nothing bad will happen. too much wordage to this game. Okay, so how do I reach it now? Can't like chuck the knife at it? How do we get it? Must be something I've come into contact with that I'm not thinking of right now. My grab matic would work here, but I don't have it anymore. sadness anymore, thank you. Oh, wow, his bark burned. Don't worry about it, I'm happy you feel better. You feel better. Let me give you something to return. Ha ha, branch! There, a piece of meat. You can plant it if you'd like. Oh my god, it's crude species. Uh, thank you, sir. Now I have to go and find my cat. the gravel mat it, but it should work. Fight tree branch with tree branch. Mabuka, the awakened darkness rises from unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent, but such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can't answer for that myself. I am Franbo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave as you. Human in Mabuka's den, that's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remar. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? The pills look kind of like red beans, so yeah, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. A 
power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Thank you. But what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you. Don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. Five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you that? The great Volkas from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be haunted by the sun of darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mubuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Rambo. I am everything sinister, all of the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, and desperation and fear. And you don't care if Rambo killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious to know the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart. Okay, here we go. What the f- oh, that creature's body is made out of baby face. <laughs> I know you from somewhere you look you took something from me didn't you you little thief where's my knitting you huh did you stab all your friend little friends with it what knitting you know are you the dead nurse i saw back in the hospital asylum do i look dead to you you little beast take a number would you and wait your turn in the waiting room but miss nurse i didn't i don't need medical attention I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Well, while well, that happens, it's locked, okay. So I wonder how long I have to wait. You now, hours, maybe days. Ha! I've been waiting a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Total health weeks. Uh, um, excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why don't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My R I has been blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost the ability to frame myself in front of a mirror. We're crazy. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain anywhere? Very hard question. Make it softer. Can I make a question softer? That's very interesting. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not one who sees at all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's the very time to understand it all. And that's true. But it would be nice for to do something. Common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Got a point. Helps us understand, to better understand each other. We understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. Ha, huh, all right, thanks for now. Oh, well, we have a friend who's an eyeball and he sees everything, so it probably has to do with him. Mm. 
you see the screen, I have number two. It's almost my turn. Like taking a knife to all these people, I'm like, does this help? Does this help? Can't all be waiting in line if they're all dead, right? I'm trying to. I was like, maybe I have to like give them my ticket or swap it somehow. This guy's not interested. How about this one? None of them want my ticket. Well, I felt like I got someone there, somewhere there for a second. Eight. Can I write a different number? What if I change the seven to make it look like a one? No. Can I change the display to be seven? about the creepy baby thing holding up the line. Oh, fair enough. something but I just don't know what it is. She 
you think is I stole her knitting needle, which makes me think there's a knitting needle somewhere. I feel like I've checked everything pretty thoroughly at this point. doing so well. Like there's gotta be something I didn't like type the loose end of, right? I never found out about the phone number. Patient number two. I swear I did see. I thought I clicked on everyone. This one? No, wait, number two. This one? I did. Told me no because he's next. I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. But if I find out what illness you have, would you give me your ticket back? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. But I don't know how to find out what illness he has. He, he doesn't even know if he's in pain. There's gotta be someone I gotta talk to, I just don't know who. I tried talking to the eye who sees all, but you know what? I tried talking to him before I asked the guy about switching numbers, so I wonder. I'll get a different thing. There we go. Just did out of order. Headache caused by low levels of agony. Crying all the tears you can cry until you feel this bottle will do it. Don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. I'm a very problematic point in my life. Sleeping again and won't answer my questions. I just want to find him. Okay, bottle spilled. Okay. Sometimes it's like you could do the right thing, but because you didn't take a, a baby step forward, it doesn't count. the most profound darkness elixir I've ever tasted. It's my tears, dude. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised you can to get Tears are absolutely delicious. Yeah, creep. 
Yay, number two. No, I don't have an appointment. You told me to take a number. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my can. I just want to buy them. That's natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone. I don't know if I'm going to have to type this out manually, so... Seven two seven six. Thanks, Are you insane? Calls. Don't fight with her, friend. Let's just go. Oh, okay. It just holds it up anyway. Can you imagine getting to the front of a queue and then, like, here, you call and set up an appointment? Um, I'm available now. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Yep, okay. That is crazy. I can't imagine actually going to a doctor like that. Yes, there you are. Doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Whew, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Well, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. You don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Okay, then. You haven't chosen your end to end your life yet? Isn't the pain isn't the pain you feel enough? There we go. You're Renmore, aren't you? I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remar. Remar. I have no idea. The terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. You killed my parents. Where's my cat? What'd you do with your Dr. D? Here. Here. I immensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You're under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must have been you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile and easy to corrupt. Oh, that's No, it can't be. Stop it! I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. didn't kill my parents. It didn't. The monster wants to trick me. I know it. Everyone, everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty. This can't be good. It has red fluid inside. I wonder what it is. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Why 
won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Or talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. If this place isn't it. You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to your thirst son, my darling. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean over. Here, Dr. Dean. All right, he must be. Um, I have a bad feeling I have to kill him. It's not gonna end well. Hmm, these buttons don't do anything. Oh! Uh, I guess I have to wake him by shocking him? him in the neck with this random fluid. We have no idea what it is. Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. D. It's me. It's Fran. Uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bo, sir, from Oswald's Asylum. We were at the ceremony, uh, ce cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. My, the big monster probably is here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright. There's no monster at all. Just let me help you. What's she doing here? I thought you chained her up. No, oh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me and Grace? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely you sound. Just like your mother when she was young. My mother? You know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, sir. Same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Oh, no. I feel like I know where this is going. Many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Oh, it's gonna go here. Lucia and Grace were a part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know how my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remar did a great job. His power to, of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife up knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. He was Raymar all the time. Why is he hunting me? Raymar is a manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I, I actually did you a favor. You are suffering, and pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go, my kitty, and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. My dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. Is she gonna drop the cat off the thing? Oh my god, don't. Don't do that. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And everything will be fine. 
Don't trust this. Don't trust this. Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. I knew it was coming, but still. No! No, kitty! Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Oh, okay, Fran. Stop it, Fran. Help! Help! Please help. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No. You won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child, the right brain, and now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Ah! Uh. Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who? Who, who are you? I'm Itward. One of many child, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ecto bro, ecto prote, colon traras manca caes. Gorska, Edward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from that girl. Leave her alone. Little Fran must be cursed. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the child's innocence. Friend is now dead and alive. Wake up the darkness, friend, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. This poor girl. What happened? It worked. Palantar, uh, Palantres. My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go. Oh, all right, Dr. Dern. Look, this is Edward and Palantres. I told you about them. Remember I told you they were real? See? You believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. He can come with us, please. He's really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. He won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you for all drugs. I never say the same name twice, I swear. Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Dern of Nome Bekuma Goodbye, Dr. Nern. Okay, let's go, friend. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. You must see and learn. Hehe, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. 
between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Well, that's gotta be interesting. Where does she go back to? I hope she goes to live with the, the vegetable people. They were so nice. Okay. I liked it. Drove me nuts at points. Definitely could use with either cutting out some of the, the verbal scenes or like dancing it. Or adding some voice acting. There was a lot of repeating, like, my key? Yes, my key. The key? It's like, oh my god, just move forward with the conversation. Uh, but I liked it. Deciding between like a 2 and a 2.5. Maybe I'll do a 2.25. <laughs> because I did like it. It was really good. What do you guys think? Have any opinions about the game? Um, I guess the way I I registered that was she was being possessed to do so. And she killed them so that he could eat off of her fear and her, like, whatnot. Um, and that, you know, she, she decided to be happy versus, you know, survivor's guilt and all of those fun things. Oh, look! They think streamers in this. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't see that often. Um, emotional supporters. I mean, you could probably go on the whole thing. Is any of it real? Is she just having like a psychotic break? Like, she killed her parents and then just mentally disappeared, you know? Regardless, there was a lot of trauma there. Trust issues, all 